Hey gamers, this is Liz Davidson from Beyond Solitaire, and today I'm going to be showing you how to solo Arion, which is the most recent entry in the Oniverse series from Shadi Torbay. Arion is a dice game in which we are racing against the clock to build all six of these airships over here. And we're going to have to do that by collecting the right ingredients to make an airship, a specific kind of building material, a blueprint, and a crew member. We can only work on two ships at any given time, and the materials and the blueprints can be acquired in any order. However, you can't hire a crew member until you're ready to launch that ship. So these crew member cards over here aren't actually useful to us in this exact moment. The way that we're going to acquire cards for our ships is by rolling dice. And in order to get specific cards, we're going to need to roll those dice in specific combinations. For example, here we need two pairs, three of a kind, a full house, three pairs or two triples, four of a kind, or a straight. Sometimes the dice aren't with you, and there will be some ways to manipulate what we roll. For example, I have these three pixies that I can spend to change one die to any result of my choice. However, there's only three of them for the whole game. We can pick up these book cards, which have special powers. They allow you, when discarded, to either reroll dice up to three times, take an element card to your reserve, which means that if you are working on two ships and you get something for a third ship, uh, but you can't place it right now, you might be able to reserve it. And it also allows you to manipulate discard piles. We're going to be discarding cards, and it may happen that a deck gets too thin, or we throw away something that we actually ended up needing, and so we can use the book to bring it back. If I don't have my sprites or a book to help me, in order to re-roll the dice until I can acquire one of these cards, I'm going to have to sacrifice other cards to the discard pile. And when I said that we won the game by building all these airships against a timer, that timer is all the cards in this game. If we run out of cards and we can't draw any more, then we lose. So I need to be careful about the cards that I sacrifice to re-roll because you don't want to sacrifice the wrong thing and you don't want to sacrifice too many things. A turn in Arion is divided into three phases, rolling, acquiring, and then replenishing from the decks. So let's go ahead and roll and see what we get. All right, so this is actually a great first roll. We have three pairs. So we can do a couple of different things with that. I can either choose to use my three pairs to grab this book right here, or I can take a blueprint and start working on a ship in my workshop. And while these rolls are harder to get, yeah, you know what I actually am. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this book. So this book is gonna to go to my pulpit and it'll give me a special power when I'm ready to discard it. So for now, it's just gonna go down here. So I rolled, I acquired, now we'll replenish. And I have so much crew and no need for them right now. Awesome, okay. So let's go ahead and roll again and see what happens. All right, so this is another pretty hot roll. This time I got a full house. So I got three ones and two twos. So what I'm gonna do with those is I'm actually gonna grab this material right here. That would be a good idea, I think. So I'm gonna put this material in my workshop. And there are two different ships that take this material. This one, which has this symbol, so I know it's somewhere in this stack. And then this one, which has this different symbol, it's like the three circles, which is somewhere in here. So I need to kind of prune those decks in order to find ships' blueprints that will go with this material. For now, we're just gonna go ahead and replenish. And we have a crew member, so much crew, no ships. Uh-oh, well, let's go ahead and roll again. All right, so this actually worked out great again. I'm a little worried. So <laughs> we have two pair and I'm absolutely using it to grab this ship right here. This is really good. So now I have a blueprint in this workshop right here. I have a material in this workshop here. The material that I need to make this ship complete is gonna be in one of these two decks. I need a propeller, and I need one of these bear-looking crew members, so I am going to see where the dice take me with that. So let's go ahead and replenish, and it's another book card. All right, so let's roll. All right, so this time the roll is a little bit less fortunate. We have one, two, three, Three, five, six. So it could have been a straight, but it isn't. And even if it were, I don't need this card right now. So I need to figure out how I want to approach this problem. One thing I would like to do 
is start clearing out a little bit of these decks so I can maybe look for a propeller. I don't want to lose too many crew members, but I also really need a propeller. I can also discard a card from one of the decks that will get me closer to the blueprint that I need for this material. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to discard this crew member and hope that one of the things I need comes up off the four of a kind stack. And then we'll just see what we can buy from that point. So for a reroll, I'm keeping these two threes. And then I'm just going to go ahead and roll everything else again and kind of see what I get from that. Something. All right, it's actually worked out really well because I have four of a kind, but I might use it as a three of a kind. So this is where my book is going to come in. I don't have room for this material right here. I really don't. I can't put it in either of these workshops because this blueprint won't take this material and this material is already here, but I would like to have it for later. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to discard my book card. What that does is if you can acquire a card, but you can't put it in your workshop, the book card will let you put it in your reserve. So I'm going to ditch this book card to the discard pile from here to take this and basically put it in reserve for myself. All right, so now let's go ahead and replenish our stacks and continue play. More crew, more books. Great. All right, so let's go ahead and roll and see. I mean, maybe we can at least go for another book or something. Also, um, you can add any number of cards to your reserve. So if I pick up this book, I can just keep adding things to the reserve if I don't want to do anything else with it, which is cool. Oh, escape die. Okay, so this time we have a straight, which of course, again, we can't do anything with. Awesome. So one, two, three, four, five. If only I could acquire this crew card, but I can't. What we're going to do is we're going to discard this for a reroll. So I want to keep sifting through this deck anyway. And let's just reroll everything. A straight's not going to do me any good. Come on, pairs. Okay, that actually worked really well. So I have these uh, four twos, which are four of a kind, but that's currently vacant. However, I have these two twos, which I can use to grab this card right here. So I have another book in my pulpit, which I can use at a future time. All right, so let's go ahead and replenish. All right, a propeller. Come on, four of a kind. All right, so let's go ahead and roll. All right, so I did not get four of a kind. I did get two pair, but again, that's not really what I was looking for because I've actually got this blueprint already. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to discard this one for a reroll because I don't need that card at all. Let's keep a pair and then reroll the rest because I kind of like to see if four of a kind can be happening here. Yes! Oh, that was a lucky roll. Four of a kind did in fact happen. Awesome. Yes. Okay, so I'm taking this repeller, I'm putting it right here with this ship. This is great. So to complete the ship, I'm needing a crew member next, and I need one of these guys. So let's see if I can luck out. Oh, great. So much crew. Oh, dear. Okay. And another propeller. That's actually good if I could get that in my reserve, because I'm going to need it. Okay. So let's see what the dice will give me. Time to roll. Ah! Okay, so I have... Two ones, two twos, a five, and a six. And I think what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use my first pixie of the game. I have two left to change the six to a five so that I have three pairs. And then I'll be able to take this crew, take this crew member, put it with this ship, which we needed a propeller and a bear crew member. And now it will be built. So this blueprint is complete. And these cards will just go back up in their respective discards. All right, so now we are going to replenish and reroll. So let's see what we can get this time. I have an open workshop too where I can stash something. Okay, so I have two fours two fives, and then a two, 
that was a two and a three. So I don't love this set of options. I'm gonna need to reroll. Since we got a whole bunch of these little guys out, mm, I gotta keep going through this pile, so let's discard this crew member for now. I'm gonna reroll these two dice and see if I can get something like a something out of it. Actually, no, because I got a full house. Ah, okay, so <laughs> let's think about what to do. You know what, I'm gonna be reckless. I'm gonna use another one of my pixies and make this into a four so that that way I actually have three pairs to work with and I can grab this blueprint because I want it, I'm grabbing it. So that's what I'm gonna do. So now this one will eventually need a cat looking crew member and one of these feather looking materials, which I do have in my reserve. So let's go ahead and pop it out of my reserve. Your cards can be removed from your reserve at any time. And I'll put it with this blueprint to see if that works out. Then we're gonna replenish and roll again. So now if I can get one of these cat crew members, that's actually a good thing for me. And it totally worked out. Check it out. I got two pairs, two twos, two sixes, and a little cat guy. Excellent. So now I have the material and the crew member required for this ship. And the ship is going to get built. So this one right here is now constructed. And we are a third of the way through the ships that need building. Okay. So let's replenish. And it's another book card, which is not necessarily a bad thing. It makes it easier for me to use mine because this is the easiest stack to get things from. I still need a blueprint from here or from here. We'll see how this goes. Let's go ahead and roll and just kind of see what the dice lead me towards here. Okay, so we have two twos, three threes, sorry, two ones, three threes, and a four. You know what? I'm going to ditch this book card and I'm going to see if I can get another three for four of a kind. And it totally happened. That was a three down here. So good times. We got our four of a kind. We can take this propeller. I'm going to go ahead and put it here. So this helps me both get through this stack and get that one more material that I needed. I'm going to need at least one more propeller, so I'm happy to have it. All right, so let's go ahead and replenish. This is getting low. All right, a blueprint. That would be really exciting. And let's roll and see what happens. All right, so I have two pair. So two twos, three threes. I think what I'm going to do is because I know that I need one of these materials for another ship, this one right here. I'm gonna use this book to acquire this material card and put it in my reserve. So that way I know I have it for later and this goes into discard. That seemed like a good idea to me, just kind of stashing it for later. Okay, so then this will replenish another kitty and let's build. Oh, that was awesome. Look at that, four of a kind. Oh, that's exactly what I needed actually. So let's go ahead and grab that blueprint. So now we have a material and a blueprint here and we're almost halfway there, which is excellent. So this will replenish with another crew member. And now we're gonna roll again. And let's see, it's a straight. Too bad I can't use it, that would have been cool. So two, three, four, five, six. Sadly, what I actually need is two pair right now, or maybe a full house. So I'm gonna have to re-roll these, but I mean, it was cool while it lasted. Let's get rid of this material since I know I don't need it anymore. I've already built one ship with it, which was this one. And then I have the other material that I need in my reserve to finish the game, so I don't need any more of that material. So let's go ahead and roll these four and see if I can, that was a five. 
and then see if I can kind of get somewhere with some crew. That worked out beautifully. So actually that turned into four of a kind. It could have been any crew, but we're going to take this as two pair and we're going to get this crew member. By the way, I should have put the ship here. I don't even know what I was thinking, but I had the right material. I'm just being a goof. So I had this one here matches this symbol. Good job, genius. And this crew member. So this ship will get constructed. It's the one that looks like it's got like four little propellers on it. All right, so the ships are half built with a decent number of cards left to go, although this stack is looking real bad. We got a lot in, ahead of us here. So we're gonna replenish. That was the last card in that stack, yikes. And we have a book. And a book wouldn't be bad to have either right now. All right, so let's, have, let's take stock of where we're at before I roll again. We have a ship that needs some of this material a blueprint that I haven't seen yet that's gonna come from this stack, and one of these bear looking crew members. This one will also need a bear. Uh, I have the material already. I need to find the blueprint in here somewhere, okay? And then this one, I have the propeller. I need something from here to, I need, a, I need, I need to get this crew member out of the way to dig for that blueprint, and I need this cat crew member. So I need a bunch of stuff, and I'm gonna have to give things up to get it which is rough, but we'll see how it goes. So let's go ahead and roll. Okay, so this actually landed me with a full house, which would be great, except I can't hire that crew member right now. I could do the three of the kind and take a book, which I think I'm actually gonna do. So we're gonna go ahead and acquire this book card, put it in our pulpit, then we'll replenish. Yes, that worked out awesome. That's a blueprint that we would have wanted anyway. Very good. And now we can roll again. So a three of a kind this time would be super welcome. And it happened. Wow. Okay. So we got a three of a kind. We're going to grab it and we're going to put it right here in our workshop. That means that this is becoming more necessary so that we can finish this ship. Look, the materials are visible, but are they happening? I do not know. Okay. So let's go ahead and replenish another book and then we will roll. Again, I have one more pixie. I have a book that let me do some re-rolling. Maybe we'll get lucky. All right, so no luck yet. What I really need is three pairs. I have one pair. Hmm. Okay, let's go ahead and re-roll all of these and we're gonna do it by giving this up because we don't need it. That's an easy sacrifice. Okay, so what we have is we have these two fives and we have a six and a three. With these two pairs, I think I'm gonna go ahead and use my third pixie. I may regret it, but we're gonna turn this into three pairs so that I can get this material with this ship, which will enable me to hire one of these crew members ASAP. If I really get lucky and get a straight, I want that one because I'm digging for a blueprint in here. So let's see if I can make it work. This pile is just gone. So the timer ends when you run out of cards. We can't run out of cards. So let's go ahead and roll. All right, so we have a partial straight and I really want a full one. So we have two, three, four, six. I'd really like one of these to become a five. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and discard this book and get a reroll. See if I can get a five off these dice. Oh, all right, so a five and a six. Excellent, two, three, four, five, six. That is a straight, which is really what I needed to complete this ship. Fantastic news. So um, this one is now complete. So that is four of the six ships. We got a little ways to go, but it's starting to look hopeful here, especially because we have open workshops now. This goes here. Gotta get everything in the right discard pile to make cleanup easy at the end. And we still have this book, which is really nice. Although we won't need it for the reserve anymore because we only have two ships left to build. So I'm actually gonna move this from the reserve into my workshop. So I have the materials that I need just waiting. And now we need to find some ships. Come on, ship, 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 ship. Okay, 
well, this ship showed up. If we can get it, that'd be really great, but I'm gonna need to make another straight out of these dice. Okay. Let's roll and kind of see where the initial roll takes us. Not a straight, not even a little bit, but that's okay. So because I no longer need any of this material, let's ditch this. Let's keep the two and the four since they'd be part of any straight. And so would the five and see if we can get something else out of these other three dice. Actually, that worked out awesome. So two, three, four, five, six. Yes, okay, so that actually worked out wonderfully. We can acquire this blueprint. We'll replenish our cards. What I really need is this blueprint from here. So let's see if I can get it one way or another. I'd really like to hire this crew so I can get it out of the way so I can dig for the blueprint that I need. That would be pretty, pretty good. So let's see if we can make it happen. Okay, so we're actually close. I have three threes. And if I can get a pair out of these dice, I can go all the way. Hmm. Okay. I don't need this blueprint anymore, so let's ditch it and reroll these three dice. Yes, okay, we did get our pair. Awesome, that worked out great. So this crew got hired. And now this ship has the material and the crew that it needs to exist. So it is going to flip over and we have one more ship. Oh my gosh. So got this, got this, got this. So my discard piles are fixed up and we'll replenish. Oh Lord, I needed a blueprint so bad. All right, so we're gonna roll. There's not really anything that we can acquire. So here's the thing. In this game, you have to acquire a card or you can just go ahead and go to the replenish step when there's only one card left in the display. So I can either try to do something fancy, I guess. I don't really wanna ditch any of these cards though. Well, I'm, basically what I might have to do is roll and get rid of all these cards and then hope that this blueprint that's in here comes off of the deck, which is really, difficult. Like when you only need a couple things and you're just casting around for them, it can be really hard. Okay. I can also do something like spin my book to um, help with the discard pile situation maybe. I don't know. Okay. So let's do this for now. We're just going to roll. Oh, what a lovely roll it was. It was three pairs. Too bad I don't need it right now. Darn it. Okay, what I'm definitely gonna do is we're gonna reroll no matter what and get rid of that. And then we've rolled again. Actually, I'm rolling nice. I got a couple pairs again, but I don't have anything that, actually it's a full house, but I can't acquire anything from there. Let's, here's what I wanna do. I don't wanna destroy too much of this. So I'm gonna spend this book just to take some stuff from one of the discard piles and put them back on top. I don't really need to do that, but this one's looking thin. I don't need anything from there. So let's just grab these two and put them back on top. You can't put books back on top, by the way. So I just made that pile a little fatter. No big deal. I wasted the book in order not, I don't want these crew members to go away because I know I'm gonna need to hire one. So I don't want to sacrifice one. And I could use these dice as a three of a kind to just pick up this other book so nothing's changed. So I still have my rerolls from using a book coming up. Okay, so these will replenish. Yes, yes. All right, I need to get that full house. However, come hell or high water, I'm getting that full house. Okay, so I have two, I have two pairs already. And I need to roll a two or a five with one of these dice. Hmm, let's go ahead and ditch this one since I don't need it. And I got a two. Lovely, lovely. Okay, so now I have a full house. I got this blueprint. Things will replenish. So now I just have to be really stubborn and give up every reroll I have to get one of these crew members to happen. This has got to work out. 
Okay, so I need three pairs, two triples, or four of a kind. If I can get it, I win this game. Okay, so I do have three sixes, and I'm going to keep them because they can work as a triple or as part of a pair or as part of four of a kind. Let's just go ahead and ditch this blueprint that I don't need. Okay, I didn't get what I needed there. I do have a pair of threes, but if I only roll this four, my odds of rolling a three or six, oh, what risk do I want to take? Like, I think I'm more likely to roll a six on one of three dice than I am to roll. Why didn't I pay more attention in math? All right, let's discard this. And we're gonna try for a six again. I just feel like there's better odds of that. Maybe I'm crazy. Okay, so again, it did not happen. I have a one and two twos, but, oh, come on. Okay, I'm going for broke here. Yes, all right, I got my six. And that means that I can grab this four of a kind, get crew for my ship and build it. So that was a successful playthrough of Arion, the newest game in the Odiverse from Shadi Torbay. I hope you enjoyed it and happy gaming.